So I'm not gonna do a whole big super duper intro, but as you see by the thumbnail and title, man, today I'm adopting a Belgian mountain wall, AKA a dog that's gonna be used for police. Um, I'm pretty excited. The mom and dad are both working line Belgian mountain walls. I wanna say before this video even starts, if you, if you see the puppy, you think he's cute, you're like, oh, should I get one? No, I do not recommend this breed to anybody that doesn't have experience with it. Um, this isn't your regular like pit bull or German shepherd. It, if, if you want this breed, I suggest you do research, you watch videos. I did graduate from a dog school. Uh, shout out Highland K9 for giving me the knowledge and uh, all this stuff about this breed. Uh, it's a very, it's a very wild breed, so I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. But uh, y'all let me know in the comments right now if y'all would want to see training videos and a whole nother channel. Y'all let me know down in the comments if y'all would want a whole nother channel based on me and the dog. The dog's name is Smokey. I've met him before. Um, he is seven weeks old. I even have took bites from the dad. I'll play the clip now. What are you doing? Ow! And so, yeah, that's basically it. We're gonna meet up with the breeder. He's gonna give you some rundown of the dog. And All right, y'all, so my breeder's here. Uh, we just arrived and um, he's basically gonna give me a rundown and give y'all a rundown of the dog, the parents, all that. And uh, let's go. What's going on, CJ? What's going on? You doing all right, boss? Yes, sir. This is Smokey, y'all. This is the first time the camera's seeing him. He is a little, a little timid. He's out of his natural environment. But uh, no, he's this... definitely not timid. It's a beautiful coloring, though, for sure. So, could you give us like a little little rundown of his parents and just all that good stuff? So he's out of Wolf and Hensa, uh, out of out of a lot of lines to do border patrol work. So incredible nose drive, ton of hunt drive. Um, Wolf's uh, executive level personal protection dog. Awesome with the family. Awesome with kids. And I did take a I did take a bite from him before. That's right. He did take a bite. I, from I will. Uh, I'll put some clips in of me taking bites from him. I think I did earlier in the intro. Um, so he is seven weeks old. Yep. And being with him for the seven weeks, how how do you think he stands with his other litter mates? Oh, like, I mean, I I, I I I love this dog. It's a good dog, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you'll see the pack drive really fast. Put him down. He's gonna follow you around, follow you around. If you have something that grabs his attention, he's gonna want it. He's gonna go get it. He's gonna bring it back to you. Mm -hmm. um, we've been doing a little bit of lure work with him. He's got a good nose on him. Um, I mean, we fully expect this guy to be just like a lot of the other dogs, super social, but you know, a genetic switch there, right? Yep. So a, a dog that uh, if you uh, if you push, you're, you're gonna see him come alive, essentially. Oh, buddy. So uh, what would you say to the homeowners out there that have no experience with mountain walls Don't that say they want wall. one? Simple as that? To the homeowners, to the renters, to the wishful thinkers. Don't get a Malinois unless you really know you want it. The problem with Malinois is they bond so highly to their family. I mean, they, they bond for life kind of like the movie Avatar, right? So they really want to be with their family. They develop that bond. And what happens, a lot of people get a Malinois, it's a cute puppy, and then it becomes, you know, a cute mid-adolescent, and then it becomes a pain-in-the-ass adult. And then people go, oh, must be something wrong with the dog and they want to rehome the dog, so they say free Malamon. People are like, whoa, that's the Navy SEAL dog, the uh, Osama bin Laden dog, the dog that protects the White House. I want one of those for free. The dog that was on the movie with Channing Tatum. <laughs> and then they get the dog, and they're just not prepared. I mean, if you have any handling, you know, deficiencies, this dog's gonna show it, right? Super smart, they know how to manipulate you. Um, they know how to get their way, and you just gotta, you gotta be, so what would you, what advice would you have to anybody that wants to get into dog training with, you know, just in general dog training? It's, it's a lot more than just fun. It's a lot more than playing with puppies. There's a lot that goes into it. Um, I think education's key. I mean, he's with the Highland, obviously. I've gone to a dog school too. You really got to go get the knowledge. It's, it's, it's very hard to obtain the knowledge just, you know, off, off of your couch on, on YouTube. You gotta, you gotta have the lead time. You gotta see the dogs. Um, and also mentors is a big deal too. Get some, right, there's so much, it's so complicated. If you think about how complicated humans are and how many different personality types humans have, dogs are the same way. They're social creatures, there's a ton of them out there. So you might be really good working with your pet dog that you've had since uh, you know you were 13 years old and you're 21 and you're like, you know what, I'm gonna train dogs for a living. It's a whole nother story taking a dog with you for two to six weeks 
and getting bad behaviors out and good behaviors in. So knowing where to start, knowing what, what techniques to use is really, really important for dogs. For sure. And a lot of them guys you see on uh, YouTube showing just good stuff, they, they, that's time. That is a lot of time and how they got there. Um, I've watched a bunch of YouTubers. I really am into, me and him are both into uh, Shield Canine. We're really into them. Uh, but just know, they worked to get there. That, that didn't happen overnight. All these cool tricks where they're, they're switching heels and getting between legs, that takes time. It's not gonna happen overnight. Just keep progressing, quantity over quality, get it going. And I think one of the biggest things for dog trainers that a lot of people miss on is the fact that the dog's not your dog that you're training, right? It's somebody else's dog. So for me, the, the make of a good dog trainer, what can I teach that dog to do, but also teach you, you or you, right? It's not just about how good I am with the dog, because people aren't paying you to be good with their dog. Like, hey, let me drop my dog <laughs> out with you. Every few weeks, I want to watch you work my dog. That's not what it's about. It's about them taking that dog into their home, being able to take that dog everywhere that they want to take the dog and do what they want to do with the dog, right? Um, so, you know, if you're going to get involved with dog training, be able to communicate with people. Communication skills is, is very important. Be able to teach, right? Yes, sir. You can start with teaching how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. If you can teach that, then you can teach somebody how to hold a leash and, and, and how, to, how to walk a dog. But you teach the dog and then you teach the people, so it's two parts. We, we had that same exact lesson. Uh, our uh, instructor, one of our students had to tell our instructor how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you know? Oh, okay. Had to be very, very specific on what to do. He exactly. said, open the jar. Guy opens it, then throws it. <laughs> no, open the jar, then sit it there, then grab your knife. Grabs a knife upside down. <laughs> like, you gotta know how to talk to people. Got to know how to talk to people. No, no. <laughs> that's not, that's not uh, Dixie, bro. That's, that's <laughs> you said stick the knife in the peanut butter, right? Yeah. So do you want me to stick the knife in the peanut butter or not? Not the way you're gonna do it. <laughs> you gotta know what you're talking about. And the best advice I can give anybody is never break your kneecap. It sucks. <laughs> it's terrible. Don't do it. <laughs> Keep your kneecaps. <laughs> yes, sir. He will be in a lot more videos uh, on the new channel. We will be doing a bunch of training. I'm not just gonna buy a dog and not talk to this guy ever again. We are gonna be doing some scenarios. Well, that's the case. I'm take this dog back. <laughs> we are gonna be doing some scenarios. Some, some detection work, some trailing, all that good stuff. Well, obviously, once his leg gets better, he got to get better first. Can't be doing trailing with you running around the woods looking like that, man. No, you're right. <laughs> well, I really. You're, you're going to be full. You're going to be satisfied with this pup for sure. I mean, coming from Highland and seeing the dogs there, it's, unfortunately, it's rare to see working line Malamans, real deal dogs, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but this guy comes from solid bloodlines. I mean, you're, you're not going to have an issue. Yes, sir. Well, is there anything else you'd like to say to him before I cut him off and get back to the car? Don't break your kneecap. Don't do it. It's not fun. You heard it from him, folks. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, man. Thank you. <sighs> Ow! Ah! Ow! Ow! Bro! Bro! Dude! Get out of here! So as you see, we've taken him home. We've taken him home. Um, so a little rundown about the dog, man. Um, this has been a couple of days. I've even got a new tat, tat reveal next video. Um, yeah, so a little things about this dog. We've had him since Tuesday. It is Thursday night right now. He is a very, very sweet dog, man. I love this dog. Um, Right now is the hard part, you know, crate training, getting them used to the new home and all that good stuff. So, <coughs> but I feel like he's really handling the whole entire situation very well. Um, so, yeah, this is his little setup for now. Um, <clears throat> so, he has his water bowl there, his food there, his crate, some toys in there, um, some of that stuff. There's a whole bunch of crap going on. So I know a lot of you guys aren't familiar with this breed. Um, I'm going to say it again. Belgian Malinois. That is how you pronounce it. A lot of my close friends, a lot of people that watch my YouTube videos don't know the real me. What I'd be doing. Alexa, be quiet. A lot of y'all don't know what I do. I, uh, he's doing that because I'm not giving him attention right now. Y'all look. Hey. 
How about that? Like I was saying, I do train dogs. I, lo I love police dogs. I love police dogs. I love law enforcement. Always oh, get my. Oh, ah! Oh. Ooh. His teeth are really, really sharp. His jaw is super strong. Mom and dad both working dogs, so he's coming from a really, really good bloodline. Um, he actually just switched to dry kibble. Right when we got him, I made him one thing of wet food. He liked it. And then after that, he didn't really like wet food. Um, so, ah! Ah! Bro, holy fuck! Anyways, for all the family members watching this, um, if you want to donate anything, crates, toys, anything, uh, it will sure be appreciated. Y'all definitely let me know right now if y'all want a whole separate channel with this little guy, man. I was trying to make this vlog a little better. The ride up there explaining. Getting some people's reaction to them reacting to Smokey. But, I'm going to be real, I've just been staying home, playing with them. Haven't really started any training yet. I'm starting more of a relationship. He's, he's a very... He's a very, very confident dog, I would say. Um, like, for example, ouch! Ah, just yesterday, he was climbing up the steps to get to the house. Um, he also loves to run. Like, when we go outside, he loves to run. I, I just run from him, and he chases me. He loves that. And he loves water. So, um, yeah. Uh, this is just a little vlog, man. I I didn't really make it all crazy like I wanted it to be. It sucks, but y'all get the gist of it. This is Smokey, y'all. Y'all follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Snapchat. All that good stuff. And also, the link. Oh, I thought he just jumped off. The, the link to my uh, breeder's TikTok right here, man. Y'all go follow him. Uh, I should have put it back there as well. <clears throat> but yeah, y'all like this video up. Let me know what videos y'all want me to do with Smokey um, on this channel and the other channel. Um, if y'all wondering where I got his name from, obviously Smokey Out Friday. So uh, yeah, y'all like, subscribe, comment. Smokey, tell him bye. T Smokey, tell him bye. Tell him bye. Tell him bye. Good boy.